Hey everybody, how's it going? Corey Avery here, inbound specialist and part of the sales team at Blue Leads. Wanted to take some time today to quickly walk through the HubSpot messages tool, particularly how to set up targeted custom messages for certain pages on your website. Uh, I don't think it's any secret now that messaging is a huge function of modern day salespeople and communicating with prospects, leads, um, answering questions. People want things fast and easy as far as the information and the answers they're looking for, so that lets sales do that. So really quick, wanted to walk through how to set this up. Um, obviously to start out, you're gonna wanna be in your sales uh, section, your sales tool for HubSpot. So you got the drop down here, make sure you're in sales. We're gonna go over to sales tools and drop down to messages. This is a pretty quick and easy. They've been refining the sales tool quite a bit um, as time's gone on, so they made it very easy. So by default, it goes open to your uh, your open chats where you can drop down, look at any existing um, prior chats that have been closed, any open ones, make sure it shows you're online, obviously. Um, from here, you're gonna wanna go to settings, and by default, the first place it takes you to is create targeted message, your messages section. Um, you can obviously go through, before you set up any of the targeted messages, you want to go through these top tabs. Um, my profile, flush out, you know, get, get your picture in there, your job title, an introduction. Um, you can even link to your uh, HubSpot meetings, put your calendar link in there so people can access your calendar and book you straight from the chat window, which is a very, very convenient option, so make sure you capitalize on that. Um, Notifications, you can set those however you want them. Sounds, the push notifications. Um, appearance as far as the actual chat window. This is pretty cool as well. You can show your image or choose to just have chat. That's kind of generally recognized by all visitors as a, a chat option. Um, you can even do custom branding with your company colors. So Availability, you can set that to be uh, manual uh, based on your, it'll sync with your calendar. Um, any of your Google calendars, anything like that. If you have Pre, uh, pre-booked meetings, it'll go work around that and set you to offline and turn you back online when your meetings are over. So just leave that um, on and off manually, keep it on at all times pretty much here at Blue Leads. Code snippet, that's if you manually want to enter the JavaScript. Um, so going back to targeted messages, as you can see we have some for a few of our pages. Uh, just fun little you know, plays on grabbing some attention, you can keep it pretty basic, uh, but we're going to go in to create one right now. So first you want to pick who you're displaying to. Is this all visitors anonymous, which would be brand new visitors, never come to the site before, uh, known contacts, um, we just keep it all visitors for now. Uh, by default, we're going to put in our resources page, Blue Leads, because we don't currently have one on there. So just as an example, we'll show that. Um, you can pick, you are, put in a URL that you don't want it to display on. Um, currently we don't have really any here, so just for the example. So here's where you can set your message, whatever you want it to be. Um, you know, I'm just gonna write one up here quick. Ooh. Terrific resources, anything in print you are looking for. As you can see, it actually edits live down there in the chat bubble, shows you what it's gonna look like, which is pretty cool. Um, here you can pick to ask or not ask for a visitor's email address, however aggressive you wanna be there. We'll just click that for now. So route incoming chats too, this is pretty cool. You can pick which team members, any incoming chats you, um, you want them to be sent to. So I'm just gonna pick me for now here. Um, Offline fallback, so if it's showing offline, you can pick, again, the person you want it to go to. It's, it's me here. And if a visitor is owned, route their incoming chats to the HubSpot owner. This is key because it keeps the relationship in mind. If you have various sales reps and you wanna make sure if someone who's a contact in your database is writing in the chat message, the auto reply that they're gonna get, or the person that's gonna go to is the rep that they've been the, dealing with and have the relationship with. We can just pick that. Here's how it appears on desktop. You can kind of filter through and see tablet, mobile versions, what they're gonna look like, but it's gonna show you a preview of exactly what your custom message is gonna look like. So you can set these for as many pages as you want on your site. Uh, it really depends on the messaging you want for each of your visitors, um, but the customization you can do here is really gonna help with lead engagement. So 
And after that, you're off to the races. Go create some targeted custom messages and convert some leads.